Lake Winnebago was one of two places where non-tribal citizens are allowed to spear sturgeon during a brief season. People saw holes into the ice, set up their shanties, and then placed their decoys in order to entice a sturgeon to come past it so that the fishermen can then launch their spears into the water in order to capture one of these enormous fish. If they do spear a fish, they then have to wrestle the sturgeon ashore. We spoke to David Boyarski with the DNR to tell us more about sturgeon and this unique event. They're really ancient fish. They're around here since the dinosaurs, so over 150 million years ago. Uh, most fish are not that old. In Lake Winnebago, we're lucky here. Um, our rivers, the Fox and the Wolf River, uh, there's long stretches of undammed stretches that they can reach their spawning grounds and spawn. Uh, and then also, early on, people recognize the specialness of Winnebago and they put protective measures on the sturgeon here. So they controlled harvest a long, long time ago. The state uh, actually shut down the season in the 1900s for about 15 years. And the recent season has only opened up since 1932. And that's why we have the species and, and the population today around here. That's why we can have the harvest we can on this system. That's why we have such a large population and it's healthy. Spear fishing for uh, sturgeon is, is a pretty big deal out here. And it's, it's a really a community, cultural experience. Uh, a lot of people enjoy it and a lot of people get excited about it. Uh, it's more like hunting fish than actually fishing for them because you're actively pursuing that sturgeon. I mean, some people have been waiting 10, 15, 20 years to get this fish and they're excited when they, when they get their fish. Ice shacks break, they're dragging the fish out on the ice, they're screaming, you know, all this sort of stories. And, and it's just, it just always neat to hear those stories and people having a good time. And now you know you're Wisconsin.